a major part of your life must be hidden in the secret place Anna the prophet has taught us how to bring things down whoever can bring Jesus down from heaven can bring any other thing from the realm of the spirit to this realm Anna the prophetess the same thing consistently do you know how many of you got born again ask your mothers mama was not a powerful christian she didn't know much but every night 12 on the dot no matter what your discussion is she has to go and meet with god god i cannot sing but use one of my children 1981 she prayed it 1985 she prayed it 1990 she prayed it and while you were on your way strolling to the club the angel that was sent to defend that sacrifice there are angels that defend sacrifices this is why the bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong yeah he reproved kings there are angels sacrifices substance in the spirit it can be defended by the jealousy of god that's why god does things for people for the sake of others are you learning something tonight so when you pray in the spirit it's not just that you are on your way to become an emoji no it's not just you are your way to become a woman of god you are converting relationship to power and to the final product it can be a job it can be whatever prayer is not just for deliverance alone the primary assignment of prayer is for fellowship and intimacy and so while it is night no noise you are alone with god there's worship just like this playing lord just to let you know that i love you i'm available to be used by god and there are angels watching there are demons watching the demons that stop your family are also watching they are witnesses of your sacrifice May God deliver this our generation from laxity and unseriousness. Someone looks at you and says, I am your boss. I promise you except this is not my company, you will be fired. Don't fight. If you fight physically, you are not wise. Remember, in the Bible and through history, believers don't just fight physically yet. They go to the realm of the spirit while that man is sleeping you are programming your climate that man is sleeping and is having a vision of a warning yes beware that lady you see is not just a clerk there is a covenant on her life behave yourself he will get up he won't tell you he had the dream he just says how are you this morning i hope you everything have you eaten are you all right our excessive lamentation is proof that we do not know how to correct things in the spirit your church is not growing and you are wondering why and you go back and the spirit of god comes upon you his power comes and the lord says you are missing it here you're not getting it here there is a principle you do not understand this is a generation that only understands power nobody will just believe in you for nothing believe me people need real results in their lives if you're in ministry here or you are going into ministry please hear me among the many things that you need is true spiritual power genuine power that produces real results otherwise get ready for empty pews hallelujah is someone ready to pray we're going to take 10 minutes and we're going to pray in the spirit now hear me be sensitive to the holy ghost as you pray for many of you as you are praying the first revival tonight is your prayer life and your relationship with the Holy Ghost. Suddenly you will find out that your, all these appetites that continue to eat up your time are suddenly going away. Are we together? Are you ready to pray?
lift your voice and begin to cry to the Lord in one minute. 